All right, it looks like we're live. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh, what a way to start a live stream with a cough. Um, apologize. <coughs> My throat is kind of acting up today, but um, anyway, we're going to take a quick look at what I've got going on as far as uh, XM rig here. Um, <coughs> I'm currently running it on one Epic J, sorry, Epic 7J1364 core processor. And I'm not getting a huge hash rate uh, because I can't set MSR mod because uh, this is virtualized and I can't get down to that layer. But <clears throat> I'm getting pretty cool hash rate here, uh, 25 mega hash. <clears throat> so if we look at the hash rate, there it is. And look at the statistics. Uh, it hasn't been running too long, but <clears throat> uh, I thought that was kind of nice. So. What I'm going to do actually is, um, uh, so we have 64 cores, I'm going to stop that and uh, look at uh, the cores, so if we cat proc CPU info, pipe to grep uh, processors, uh, pipe to tail dash one, I feel like that should give us, well maybe not. Uh, Uh, processor, not uh, plural. So, but you get the picture. The last entry, 64 cores. So, I'm going to double that actually. See what we get. So, let's go to my machine, which is over here, and let's uh, edit this uh, 64, uh, 32 OCPU equals 64 threads. We're going to edit this guy and switch it to uh, 128 if I can remember how to do this um, edit the shape so we want to down arrow this and we've got 32 OCPUs we're going to double it to 64 o OCPUs I do not need that much RAM the minimum amount of RAM I can have is 64 so once I save these changes, it has to reboot. So let's go ahead and do that. While that's rebooting, let's take a look at the metrics. You can see when I ran XM rig, 100% uh, on the 32 uh, core, 64 threads. So now I'm going to get 64 cores, 128 threads um, on this next iteration. So I'm just waiting for it to reboot. And then we should be able to try that. So if I go back to my machine, yeah, I got kicked out. Uh, so let's um, get back in here. And uh, sorry, we don't have the paths of key yet, and the machine isn't coming back yet. So. Let's give it a minute and uh, see what we got. And the funny thing here is that I've got this machine. I'm streaming. This is a MacBook Pro, um, and I'm streaming. And I am uh, mining on this rig at the same time. So if we go back to terminal, you can see over here, I get about 1.5 mega hash per second on this particular Intel i7 machine, which isn't too bad. <coughs> But anyway, let's see if our machine came back. Not quite yet. So it says it's stopping. Let's refresh the page. Sometimes this console is very slow. This is one of those times <clears throat> I've noticed that about Oracle Cloud. I really like their performance and their price on their VMs, but it can be slow. Um, while we're waiting for that, I'm just verifying that uh, everything's good with the live stream, so bear with me. Yeah.
And I'm sorry about the noise. That's because this machine is, is like I said, it's mining, so the fan's running high. Um, let's see if we're ready yet. Again, a pretty slow console here. Okay, it's running. And I'm in. So if we sudo dash i and we uh, reinstall uh, XM Rig because I want it to uh, pick up uh, the new core count. So as soon as I do that, if I uh, look at uh, the config.json, um, I guess it hasn't filled the uh, core counts yet, but if I cat proc CPU info pipe to grep processor pipe to tail dash one, I now have 127 threads. So this is a 64. So let's do it. XM rig. And 128 threads. So I am using one full core in one machine at some data center in Oracle Cloud. And like I said earlier, I can't do MSR mod, unfortunately, because this is virtualized. And actually, I'm currently sending this to donate, uh, which is okay for now. I just kind of want to see what we get here. Forty two mega hash. That's not bad at all. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if our metrics are showing yet. Um, so now we've got 64 OCPUs, which is 128 threads. And if we refresh our CPU utilization metrics, we should be pegged. So let's refresh and see what we got. And then that'll be it for this video. Again, Oracle Cloud Console, slow. Don't know why. Yeah, there it goes. It just climbed up to 100. And that should say 128 thread because that's where we are. So why not edit that? So these are massive machines, very powerful. Expensive, too. I'm curious what uh, E4 Flex pricing is. Uh, we should actually price this out. VM standard E4 Flex. Um, pricing. So let's see what this thing is costing us right now. I think I used this cost estimator. I'm not sure. I've used this before and I can't quite remember how it goes. And this is really sluggish, so I'm actually going to pause my uh, local mining here. Fan should go down too. Okay, this looks more familiar. So, uh, compute VM. And we're going to look at uh, VM number of instances up all day. This is E4. Isn't that what we said? Uh, E4 flex one, uh, 64 CPU. So yeah. So E4 flex 64. This is an expensive machine. But really, that's not that bad, uh, to be honest with you. Um, we're looking at monthly $1,200.
that might sound like a lot, but for 64 cores, 128 threads, that's not too bad. I bet Amazon's double that. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get 64. Uh, yeah, here's one for 64 cores. Um, almost $4 an hour. So let's change to monthly. Here's the 64 core. Uh, Linux on demand is $2,700. Here's almost ten thousand dollars a month, but ton, you almost got two terabytes of memory there. So this R6 GD 16x large is pretty close to this machine, except it has more RAM than I need, minus 64 core, 64 RAM, twenty-seven hundred dollars at Amazon a month, eleven ninety at Oracle a month. So yeah, I'm going with Oracle if I want compute power and I want AMD Epic. I'm going with Oracle for sure. So anyway, thought that was kind of nice. It was a fun test. Um, let's get back to that machine, see how we're doing. Still at 42 mega hash, 15 in, looking pretty good. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any experience um, mining XMR on VMs in the cloud. Uh, I'm looking for cost-effective ways to do that. This isn't cost-effective by any means, but uh, it's fun to experiment with large machines and seeing what kind of hash rate I can get. So, um, thanks for watching. See you next time.